the ability to expose the crimes of states, be that regime change wars like in Iraq or, or crimes of states against their own populations, such as mass surveillance. And, and my particular experience around the NHS, well, the privatization of the NHS represents to me a crime of the UK government against the population of, of England. And privatization is a legalized form of fraud and corruption, is handing over a state asset to private corporations. And much of the work WikiLeaks and uh, Julian Assange have done have been to shine a light on how the military industrial complex and financial interests and oligarchic individuals are pulling more and more finance and control into their own grasp. So they've decided to make an example of Junjun and locking him up for having convicted no crime, but his only offense is, has been to reflect the crimes of our leaders. And that's what he's been guilty of. But the other thing we share in common with the United States, not only our government colluding with them against uh, what is effectively a political prisoner languishing in Belmarsh prison, but they also share their catastrophic handling of the pandemic. They have failed in their fundamental duty to protect the public. And it doesn't surprise me, they're, ideologi they're ideologically aligned, they're right wing and they're stacking the interests of corporations above those of the people. The other importance of Julian Assange is how he gave a voice to whistleblowers, how he provided a safe platform for people who wanted to protect themselves against retribution and being allowed a voice to expose fraud, corruption and criminality amongst our leaders. 